This is the Horn of Africa, gentlemen. I hope you like it, because we're going to be here a while. This is our situation. We're going in as part of a multinational force operating at the request of the Eritrean government. It seems that one of the ways our friends back in Russia bankrolled their coup was selling surplus weapons. Cheap. A faction of the Ethiopian military led by a certain Colonel Tesfaye Wolde was one of their best customers. Once they got their arms, Wolde and his supporters made their move, overthrowing the legitimate government and then making a push for the Red Sea coast. Right now, they own everything on the water south of Massawa, and they're rolling up the Eritrean army as they head north. We're here to do something about that. In order to leave some kind of infrastructure intact, the Eritrean government has also requested that we try to preserve as much of the local architecture as possible. That means that your unit is going to be getting a lot of work. Your first mission is to secure a radio transmitter on the beach north of Massawa. The beach is guarded lightly, but the approach up the bluffs that the station's sitting on is another story. Clear the beach first, then work your way up to the heights and take that transmitter. Once that's in hand, clear out the machine gun nests guarding the beach approaches. If you can, clear the area of all hostiles. The troops following you will appreciate it. them napping. We're on the way. Another kill. Taking cover. They're shooting. Scratch another one.
Kill confirmed. Goodbye. Goodbye. Kill confirmed. He's history. Goodbye. Scratch another one. Scratch another one. Be there in two shakes. Enemy down. Looks like we have a rush job on our hands. We're making good progress in the push for Masawa itself.
but the Ethiopian forces have adopted a scorched earth policy as they fall back. Their latest target is the refinery complex just outside the city, one which Eritrea desperately needs intact. Recon reports that the Ethiopians have already leveled part of it, however, and they're in the process of planning the charges that will destroy the rest. We can't allow that to happen. You'll be approaching the refinery from the south. Move in, secure it, and deal with the squad planting the demo charges. We've also heard that some members of the refinery staff were taken hostage back when the invaders thought they were going to be operating the refinery themselves and needed expertise on hand. Find the survivors still being held hostage and extract them along the rail line that links the complex to the main track grid. Again, if you can, eliminate all of the enemy forces on site. However, rescuing the hostages and the refinery is more important. in one piece.
Kill confirmed. He's history. The invasion force is bringing in most of its supplies by rail. Our next goal is to put a stop to that. The first step is going to be seizing a depot along the main rail line that runs to Djibouti. Normally, we just take it out with airstrikes, but they've parked a SAM launcher on the heights above the depot and that needs to be taken out before we can send in the flyboys. We have gotten some satellite reconnaissance that tells us there's a tent encampment near the SAM site. You need to clear that out as well, otherwise taking out either the SAM launcher or the railroad depot is going to be tricky. The final objective is the depot building. Take it as quickly as possible. We believe that there's important intel in there relating to the supply lines for the Ethiopian troops. They're sure to try to destroy it once they realize what's going on. Cover behind these rocks.
Scrap one piece of Russian scrap. Kill confirmed. East history. East history. Yes.
Goodbye. Following your lead. We're here. This one's a little different, gentlemen. We've been tapped to do a good deed. As you may know, the coup in Addis Ababa coincided with the worst droughts they've had in 20 years. The pictures aren't making the news back home, but rest assured that there are a lot of starving people in the interior, on both sides of the border. Making it worse, local warlords with ties to the new government have taken to hijacking the relief trucks and stealing or destroying their contents. As a result, a coalition of international relief agencies has asked for military escorts for supply caravans heading for the refugee camps. You'll be handling the first run. You'll be escorting a small convoy of four trucks to the refugee camp near the western edge of the Denikel Desert, territory that's technically across the Ethiopian border. Furthermore, we've spotted a band of Ethiopian irregulars sitting across the logical route to the camp. They're most likely going to try to disable the trucks and make off with the supplies. Preventing that is your mission. Making sure they don't ever bother anyone else would be a bonus. The route the convoy will be taking moves through an old riverbed, a perfect ambush point. Make sure all of the trucks make it through in one piece. Get up to the high ground and take out any of the patrols with rocket launchers who are waiting to poach those supplies. If you can wipe out the entire enemy force, so much the better. But the most important thing is to get those trucks through the riverbed in one piece. Clear them off the high ground.
East history. East history.
We have a potentially delicate situation on our hands. Officially, once Washington shut down the SR-71, we haven't had a high-speed manned reconnaissance aircraft. Unofficially, it's called Aurora, and one just went down deep in the heart of the Denikil. We need to destroy the wreckage before the locals get their hands on it. The last thing we need is for whatever's left of our classified aircraft to go on the international auction block with Colonel Walday banging the gavel. The good news is that the region's been blanketed under a sandstorm until recently. That means that the Ethiopian troops in the area haven't had a chance to salvage the wreckage. Our best estimate is that there are three significant chunks of the Aurora left scattered along the length of a dry riverbed. Find them and plant charges on each. They'll be detonated 30 seconds after you plant them. So move quickly. You'll also want to take out the Ethiopian outpost nearby. We don't think that they've managed to salvage anything, but it never hurts to be sure. Take the site and then get out of there. Return to your insertion zone for pickup. Assuming the weather stays clear, the choppers will be there in a hurry. There's also a small supply dump in the area. If you can take it without too much risk, do it. Be warned, though. Enemy light armor's been spotted in the area. It's been immobilized by the storm, but now that the weather's cleared, you're likely to run into it, and sooner rather than later. Recon says it went down along the riverbed. We're gone. Enemy down. First charge set. One more to go. Goodbye. 
charge is set. We're on the way. history. Gentlemen, let me introduce you to Ashinafi Abate. He's a local strongman who used to be based out of the area east of Wickrow. However, he's also an old friend of Colonel Wolday's and has now set up residence in a ghost town outside of Adikiai. He and his command are your target. As the Ethiopian troops fall back, they're leaving something behind. Landmines. Not only do they slow our advance, it's highly unlikely that we're going to find and detonate them all and that means they're going to be providing unpleasant surprises for the local populace for years to come. Your first priority is to recover the maps of the minefields that are being laid. A body's in charge of this section of the project, and he's keeping them in his field HQ in a box canyon northeast of the town. On the opposite end of town is a motor pool tucked into a junkyard. You'll want to disable all of the vehicles there as well. Then you get to go after the big prize, Abate himself. If Abate's not in the field HQ, He'll be in a house he's commandeered on a hill just outside of what's left of the town. He's dug in there, with a trench network defending it, and his troops are positioned all through the wreckage. You're going to go in there and drag him out. Once you've got Abate in hand, head for the pickup point. It's located in the ridges to the south of town.
Looks messy down there. Be there in two shakes. confirmed.
Kill confirmed. Prisoner secured. We're gone. good news and some bad news. The good news is that we have a reformed column of Eritrean infantry advancing along one of the major north-south roads from Asmara to Adigrat. The bad news is that the Ethiopian commander in the region is a damn sight more efficient than your friend Abate and has prepared an unpleasant surprise along their route. He's got a roadblock thrown up across the route, with his troops dug in on both sides of it and holding a fortified position on the heights west of the road. Furthermore, He's parked his men right next to a field hospital, which means you'll be doing this without air support. The last thing we need is all the cable news networks showing endless reruns of us accidentally blowing a hospital to smithereens. You need to take that roadblock. To do that, you're going to need to clear out the trenches on either side of the road leading up to the obstruction and take out the encampment on the heights as well. If they've got any vehicle support, neutralize it. Then proceed along the road to the west. Don't worry about stragglers. The troops coming in behind you will handle the mop-up work. Smells like an ambush. Moving out. He's history. Goodbye. Another kill. Kill confirmed. He's history.
Moving out. Goodbye. Kill confirmed. Another kill. This, gentlemen, is it. We've pushed the Ethiopian forces back across the border, and we've been in contact with the legitimate government in exile. With any luck, they'll be back in power shortly, and we can wrap this up. There's just one detail left to take care of. Colonel Tesfaye Wolde. Wolde has decided that the best way to salvage the current situation is to ride out with whatever armor he's got left in an effort to rally the troops personally. I'll leave the wisdom of that particular approach for you to judge but you can't fault the man's guts. In any case, the column he's riding with is moving north. We're expecting it to hit a bridge over the Marib Wentz at approximately 1,100 hours, and you're going to be there to greet it. The column will be moving over a bridge that crosses a gorge near a series of waterfalls. You'll be going in downstream near a broad, shallow ford guarded by a few customs buildings. You'll want to secure that crossing immediately, then move into position to take out the tanks. The bridge is probably the best place to bottle them up, and you'll definitely want to take out the infantry holding it before the armor gets there. If not, they'll link up and you'll be in a world of hurt. One more thing. The last of their SAM launchers is guarding the bridge as well. It's positioned to the west of the crossing along the route the tanks are going to follow. Take it out, and we can end this once and for all. Like some nice high ground over there. We're gone.
Goodbye. Spotted. confirmed.
Geese history.